Good morning everyone. Today I'll be talking about my maze. Designer maze. Maka. My topic is building a maze. I'm creating my maze out of hay bales. The maze will be medium size and it will be circular. The maze will be for both children and adults and it will be for school fairs. The point of this maze is to let children and adults have fun together. Some things I have learned over honours about mazes are you, that you can usually keep your hand on either wall and it will bring you back to the start or the finish. There are heaps of wrong ways to go, however, there is only normally one right way to go. A maze is a good way to keep yourself occupied without a screen. When you complete a maze that you have been working on for a very long time, you can feel a sense of pleasure. I have also learned that mazes can be made out of heaps and heaps of materials, such as hay, hay bales, bricks, hedges, and even corn. Longleat in Wiltshire, England, is the longest maze and stretches for almost 2.7 kilometres. It consists of 16,000 English yew trees, a few bridges, and even has a watchtower in the middle. Some of the world's first hedge mazes were made in Europe in the mid-1500s. Bellingham Maze is on the Sunshine Coast. Its main maze is made, is made out of hedge is made out of hedge, but there are also others like a plank rope maze, a rope maze and a trivia maze as well. The Hampton Court maze in England is one of the most well known mazes in the world. Its hedges there today were planted in 1960. But there is evidence that there might have been trees there long before then. I have designed the maze and it will be for all hedges to have fun. The maze is a circular hay bale maze that stands around 60 centimetres tall. People enter the maze through the front gate and the objective is to reach the middle of the maze. A sign will be there so that they know that they have found the middle. People will then return to the exit where they will get a certificate to show they reached the middle. I am making my model out of cardboard and plastic boxes. It will be stick, stuck down together with glue and sellotape. For my real maze, I will use hay, I will use hay bales and turf. In the centre of the maze, there will be a sign that tells people that they are finished. Here is the picture of my maze. Here is the digital copy design of my maze. As you can see here, the, ter the grass on there is turf, the yellow blocks are hay bales, and the centre is the end of the maze. Features about my maze. The main features of my hay maze are the hay bales, which are the main building resource, the sign to tell people that they have completed the maze, and the green turf, which is laid on the floor inside the maze. What worked well, what I enjoyed, and what was difficult. I think building my maze was the part that worked the best for me. It was quite fun, however, my favourite part was designing the maze on Tinkercad. The hardest part for me was getting organised for the maze, doing stuff like cutting and pe painting my hair bales. Thank you for listening.